Hey everybody, welcome back to Windy City Astrophotography. In this video, a quick look at a new feature in the ASIR 2.0 release, mosaic planning within the ASIR Sky Atlas feature. Uh, it works well, and I'm excited to show you how it works. Now I had made a video about mosaic planning and importing mosaic coordinates into the ASIR uh, about a year ago. That video is still worth watching, although you'll no longer need to be importing those coordinates from Telescopius but it does have a lot of good information about uh, things like framing and tips on overlap and things like that. So I'm definitely gonna keep that video around, but thankfully the most complicated part of that process is now within the ASIR app. So I've been uh, running the ASIR 2.0 tonight, looking good right now on the Heart Nebula. And uh, yeah, just excited that uh, finally we've got this release of a lot of new features. So just talking about mosaic planning tonight, over the next uh, few weeks, I'm hoping to release a series of videos that'll be giving more information on some of the other features that are uh, new and exciting in the ASIR 2.0 release. So let's jump in here to our look at mosaic planning. So I'm in auto run here, and if we go down to the lower left-hand corner here and click on the Sky Atlas icon, we come up here, here's my framing currently on the Heart Nebula. But notice, uh, besides at the upper right-hand corner, the, the compass icon there, I don't have mosaic or rotate available. Now that's something we are gonna see if we're in the right mode. So in fact, you can find it if you are in preview mode. We've got mosaic and rotate available. However, it doesn't, it's not fully featured unless you're in plan mode. So I'd always recommend being in plan mode and it's easy enough to back out and then come back in by switching modes. But it's interesting here that in this release, don't recall this from before, but in Sky Atlas, there's actually different features available based on which mode you're in on this main screen. Interesting change. And then we go back into the Sky Atlas feature here. Now, currently it's just one scope uh, area here, the red box and the blue box are aligned. What we're gonna do here is click on the mosaic icon, which is at the upper right, and that brings up a couple of options here. We've got a chance to increase the number of frames uh, that we want, want to include on both axes, in case you want an absolutely huge uh, mosaic. I'm gonna go for two by two, just for an example here. Notice the overlap here is at 10%. I would not recommend going any lower than 20%. And in fact, something like 25 or 30 is probably gonna be better. Here's what happens. You're just gonna be uh, overlapping those frames a lot more. That's going to just increase your margin for error, for framing issues, for maybe a slight rotation difference on the camera. Although you should be able to uh, align that pretty carefully within ASIR. There's just a, a lot of things here that you don't wanna leave to chance. You don't wanna get all this great imaging done and realize you've got a little uh, thin sliver of the mosaic that isn't quite there because things didn't quite work out. So I would recommend uh, yeah, increasing that overlap. And if you're not quite getting everything you want, just add a couple extra frames with that same overlap uh, to make that mosaic bigger. Now we've got this plan icon at the lower right, and that's what's going to allow us to add this mosaic into plan mode. So let's click that. And notice at the lower left here, we now have four images actually of this region of space. Uh, that's indicating those are the four frames of this mosaic. It's as easy as that. You're not wondering, uh, you know, if I've uh, copied and pasted everything correctly from Telescopius and imported it in and pasted it correctly into the ASIR. Here, you've just got it and it's ready to go. Now, you can then go into plan mode if we back out and then go to the edit icon there. Here we have all four of those coordinates already laid out here. We can then go into the details and add how many exposures and things like that and add the details of our plan, what to do at the end of it, all those nice details. But the planning is already done. The mosaic is already in here and this just makes it way easier than what we had before. Now within each of these, you can click on the Sky Atlas words here. They'll actually show you which one of these is which. Uh, perhaps you, you know, you, you've missed a few frames on one of the quadrants, but you can't remember which one. Uh, you can go in and, and uh, confirm that this is the one that you're actually looking at. By clicking on each of these individual frames at the bottom as well, you can actually uh, slew from one frame to the next. And that, that's a, a little bit of an easier way as well to uh, navigate within that. So let's back back out into plan mode. And uh, we've got these 
imported here. So I think this is fantastic. This is a, a feature that uh, a lot of people have been asking for for a long time and finally it is integrated and it appears to work, I think, flawlessly. I can't wait to actually try it out and uh, see what kind of uh, mosaics I'm able to create uh, using this. Now I'm going to get back out there tonight and uh, continue testing out version 2.0 of the ASI Air. But in the comments, let me know, have you tried this out? What do you think? Is it uh, all that you hoped for? And what else would you like to see from the next version of the ASI Air software? So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more of them coming out with other features that are included in the new ASI Air version 2.0 release. Uh, otherwise, clear skies, and we'll see you next time.